Hey there, welcome to Geeky Greenhouse. In today's video, I'll be talking about tomato leaf curl. In this video, I'll cover the most common causes of tomato leaf curl. There are many possible causes, but I wanna focus on the most probable causes of your tomato leaves curling. So I'll go through the symptoms, causes, and solutions for each. Getting right into it, the first is watering. If you're overwatering or underwatering, or if it's very rainy in your area, or you have a drought, your plants may respond to that by curling their leaves. This is known as a physiological response, so it's not caused by a pathogen or a virus, but rather by the environment that your plant is growing in. Now this is actually a best case scenario because physiological leaf roll is really not anything to worry about. It usually resolves on its own and it won't affect the overall growth or productivity of your tomatoes. You'll usually see this displayed on the lower foliage rather than up top, and strangely enough, it's more common on indeterminate tomatoes than on determinates. So what are the causes of this? Well, it's watering related, so you're most likely to see this in late spring, early summer when it's very wet and you still have some cool overnight temperatures. The plants aren't using as much water, so the soil tends to become overly watered or waterlogged and the leaves may begin to curl. On the flip side, if it's midsummer and it's very dry in your area and your plants are going through that dry period followed by heavy watering, that can also cause this type of leaf roll. As the conditions improve going into the summer, the soil will dry off and you can continue watering regularly, keeping the soil evenly moist to combat this problem. If you're watering too much and it's really on you, reduce that watering amount and really try to keep it evenly moist, but make sure that your soil drains properly as well. And another solution here is to try growing determinate tomatoes since they're less likely to have this curling issue. Although overall, this type of leaf curl really isn't a problem. The next possible cause of leaf curling in your tomatoes is pests. And this tomato plant, whether you can tell or not, does have a pest infestation right now. There are aphids on this plant. The symptoms of pest damage are pretty obvious. Eventually you'll start to see damaged leaves. So you'll see either holes or brown or black spots on the leaves. And if you check the undersides of leaves, especially the younger foliage near the top, and even sometimes the flowers, that's where you'll find these tiny pests often hiding. So what pests are most common here? Well, aphids, obviously, in this case, but also broad mites are very common. Thrips and white flies can all affect your tomato plants and cause leaf curl. So what can you do about pests? Well, first you wanna make sure that you actually have a pest infestation. So check closely, like I said, check those leaves, undersides, and even get out your magnifying glass if you have one to make sure that you know what you're looking at and dealing with. Broad mites are very tiny, almost microscopic, so you really need to get in there and look close to know exactly what you have. Another thing we always recommend from day one with your tomatoes is to companion plant with flowers and other beneficial companion plants to bring in insects that will eat the pests. This is the best preventative care, and it's really never too late to get started, Plant some flowers alongside with your tomatoes like alyssum, cosmos, zinnias, and the earlier you get those flowers into your garden, the better. But assuming you have an existing pest infestation, what can you do about it? You can introduce beneficial insects into your garden like green lacewings or the minute pirate bug, and those will immediately go to work feeding on the pest infestation. Alternatively, you can use horticultural oil or neem oil or any other insecticide or miticide to deal with your infestation. Just be careful using those pesticides because a lot of them are not selective and they will actually kill the good insects that may be there already trying to help you out. Another cause of curling tomato leaves that's actually a growing problem is herbicides. Tomatoes are especially affected by herbicides, so there are many ways that herbicides can find their way into your garden and curl your tomato leaves. The symptoms are downward curled leaves, usually on the top of the plant and eventually spreading to the entire plant, along with twisted, sort of distorted overall leaf growth. Eventually, this problem can cause your plant to completely die if you don't deal with it, so it's a very serious concern. So what are the causes of herbicide damage to tomato plants? Well, it may be something that you actually put into your garden unknowingly, compost, straw, even your own grass clippings from your yard, or manures from cow and horse can all be contaminated with herbicides. Another possible cause is if you live nearby a farm that uses herbicide sprays, that spray can actually drift on the winds and end up affecting your garden. 
So what do you do about this? Well, you really need to be sure that you have herbicide problems. So look up the symptoms, make sure you're familiar with what it actually looks like, and then think back to what could possibly have brought herbicides into your garden. Did you use a new brand of compost or manure from the store? Do you use feed and weed fertilizers that contain herbicides for your lawn that may have spread to your vegetable garden? If it seems like herbicides are the problem, then you really need to remediate your soil. You either need to remove it from your garden entirely, or you can try adding activated charcoal to your soil, which may help remediate the problem. Another very common cause of tomato leaf curl are diseases and viruses. Most viral infections will be pretty obvious at some point, and many of them will start at the top of the plant and work their way down, spreading over time. So the symptoms will be varied based on what disease you may have, but look for signs like lesions or spots on your leaves, yellowing foliage, and an overall unhealthy look to the plant. Just to cover a couple of viruses that may cause leaf curl, tomato yellow leaf curl virus is very common in the south and this is brought in by white flies. So if you see white flies on your plant and you're starting to see signs of yellowing and leaf curling, then you may have this virus. Also, some of the mosaic viruses, many of which are spread by aphids, can cause leaf curl and really unhealthy plant growth. Disease identification is really tough and tomatoes, unfortunately, are very susceptible to many different types of diseases. So if you suspect disease, you really need to research and look online and find pictures to try to figure out if it's something viral or bacterial and what to do about it. Unfortunately, the best solution here is usually to remove the plant from your garden entirely and to not compost it. Many viruses can survive in your compost and be spread into your garden in following years. Also, try to be cleanly in the garden, clean your tools, clean any clothing that you used out in the garden, and make sure that you just have a hygienic state of mind whenever you're going into your garden. I wanna quickly touch on a few more possible causes of your leaf curl, and there's an article in the description below that details all of these possible causes, along with some symptoms and pictures, so if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below. Some other possible causes of leaf curl in tomatoes include transplant shock early in the season, also leaf scorch early on in the season when the plants aren't properly hardened off. You may see those white, sort of bubbled, curling leaves as a result. Also, excessive heat or excessive cold temperatures can cause some leaf curl symptoms, so if it's very early in the season and you're experiencing cool weather overnight, or midsummer when it's very, very hot, if you live in a very hot climate, that also may cause this physiological response. Excessive nitrogen, if you're over-fertilizing your tomatoes, can also cause this symptom. Excessive nutrients in the soil can actually cause a physiological water loss in the plant, so try not to overfeed your tomatoes even though they are pretty hungry plants. Excessive pruning is also a pretty common symptom of leaf curl, so try to do your pruning at regular intervals rather than one big pruning all at once in the middle of the season, which can cause unnecessary stress. And lastly is wind damage. This isn't very common, but if you have very strong winds and your plants are constantly experiencing crosswinds, then you may start to see some leaf curl along with some other symptoms. Now, all of these fall under the physiological response. And again, this is something caused by environmental factors rather than pathogens or viruses infecting your plant. So when the conditions improve, whether it's reducing nitrogen or the temperatures coming down from a heat wave, the plants will usually improve as well. If your tomato leaves are curling, it's usually not that big of a deal. It's usually one of those physiological reactions that is fixed as the conditions improve. So hopefully this video helped you figure out why your tomato leaves are curling. Leave a comment below if you have any other suggestions, and I'll see you next time.